Because of Win Dixie by Kate D. Camillo. Chapter 16. Litmus W. Block was just a boy when the firing on Fort Sumter occurred, Miss Franny Block said as she started in on her story. Fort Sumter, I said. It was the firing on Fort Sumter that started the war, said Amanda. Okay, I said. I shrugged. Well, Litmus was 14 years old. He was strong and big, but he was still just a boy. His daddy, Artley W. Block, had already enlisted, and Litmus told his mama that he could not stand by and let the South get beat, and so he went to fight too. Miss Franny looked around the library, and then she whispered, Men and boys always want to fight. They are always looking for a reason to go to war. It is the saddest thing. They have this abiding notion that war is fun and no history lesson will convince them differently. Anyway, Litmus went and enlisted. He lied about his age. Yes, ma'am. Like I said, he was a big boy and the army took him and Litmus went off to war just like that, left behind his mother and three sisters. He went off to be a hero, but he soon found out the truth. Miss Franny closed her eyes and shook her head. What truth, I asked her. Why, that war is hell, Miss Franny said with her eyes still closed. Pure hell. Hell is a cuss word, said Amanda. I stole a look at her. Her face was pinched up even more than usual. War, said Miss Franny with her eyes still closed should be a cuss word too. She shook her head and opened her eyes. She pointed at me and then she pointed at Amanda. You, neither of you can imagine. No ma'am, Amanda and me said at exactly the same time. We looked real quick at each other and then back at Miss Franny. You cannot imagine. Litmus was hungry all the time and he was covered with all manner of vermin fleas and lice. And in the winter, he was so cold, he thought for sure he would freeze to death. And in the summer, why, there's nothing worse than war in the summertime. It stinks so. And the only thing that made Litmus forget that he was hungry and itchy and hot or cold was that he was getting shot at. And he got shot at quite a bit and he was nothing more than a child. Did he get killed? I asked Miss Franny. Good grief, said Amanda. She rolled her eyes. Now, Opal, Miss Franny said, I wouldn't be standing in this room telling this story if he was killed. I wouldn't exist. No, ma'am, he had to live. But he was a changed man. Yes, ma'am, a changed man. He walked back home when the war was over. He walked from Virginia all the way back to Georgia. He didn't have a horse. Nobody had a horse except for the Yankees. He walked. And when he got home, there was no home there. Where was it? I asked her. I didn't care if Amanda thought I was stupid. I wanted to know. Why? Miss Franny shouted so loud that Win Dixie and Amanda Wilkinson and me all jumped. The Yankees burned it. Yes, ma'am, burned it to the ground. What about his sisters? Amanda asked. She moved around the desk and came and sat on the floor. She looked up at Miss Franny. What happened to them? Dead, dead of typhoid fever. Oh no, Amanda said in a real soft voice. And his mama, I whispered, dead too. And his father, Amanda asked, what happened to him? He died on the battlefield. Litmus was an orphan, I asked. Yes, ma'am, said Miss Franny Block. Litmus was an orphan. This is a sad story, I told Miss Franny. It sure is, said Amanda. I was amazed that she was agreeing with me about something. 
I'm not done yet, Miss Franny said. Win Dixie started to snore, and I nudged him with my foot to try to make him quit. I wanted to hear the rest of the story. It was important to me to hear how Litmus survived after losing everything he loved.